Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do barbecue ribs in your pressure cooker. Now, these are the ribs. I only got one rack, but you can fill your pressure cooker up. I'm just doing one rack of ribs. I put a, a rub on them, and it's a rub that I made, but if you have a favorite rub, use it. And if you need a rub recipe, it'll be down below in the, in the about section. All right, so it, I've got the rub on. I, I actually did this last night. So um, they've been on there a while. All right, now here's my pressure cooker. Let's see. Here's my pressure cooker. Into the pressure cooker, I'm putting a cup and a half of beef broth. You can use chicken broth. I just happen to have some beef, bro beef broth open, so I'm, I want to use it. You know, I don't want it to go bad, so I'm using beef broth. All right, and then I quartered uh, half of a small onion, well, medium-sized onion, and I'm going to throw that in there, too. Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it because I want this flavors infused into this um, sauce, into the meat. All right, now I've got two ribs here. Well, it's one rack of ribs, and they're not going to fit very well. I can see, but that's all right. We're just going to do it anyway. I've got these room temperature now. I'm going to put one over the other because it's not going to hurt a thing. Let me wipe my hands off real quick. I'm sorry. Didn't realize I was going to get them that messy. And now you're going to cook these ribs for 15 minutes on the highest pressure, which would be 15. 15 PSI. So I'm going to put these on and um, then We'll be back when they get finished and I'll, in here, and I'll tell you what to do next, okay? All right, it's been 15 minutes, and I let the uh, pressure reduce naturally for 15 minutes, and now I'm going to release the pressure, which there's not any. I guess it all released. All right. So we're going to unlock. Here's our ribs. Get rid of this top here. I'm going to carefully remove these, hopefully. Onto this plate. This, um, down here that I'm gonna put them on that hope I can do it without tearing them up now Get your broiler heated on high, high as it'll go, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to flip these over if I can. I want to do the back side first. Whoa. I'm going to, uh, as you see, I did not remove the membrane on them. I don't know if that'll affect it or not, but we'll see. I'm going to put my barbecue sauce on. And these are going to go under the broiler for seven minutes on each side. And put your barbecue sauce on after you've, on the opposite side after you have cooked one side for seven minutes. Use your favorite or make your own. Up to you. 
brush this on. <clears throat> and we'll see these when they come out. All right, here's the ribs. Half an hour, uh, seven minutes on each side. And I like mine a little brown like this. If you don't, put it further away from the broiler. And uh, let's cut these. And remember, I did not take the membrane off. Oh my goodness. They... <laughs> They are so tender. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. Well, I got a taster here. You got your knife and everything. He's going to give it a taste for us. And today's my birthday. And Linda made this meal for me. Barbecued ribs, potato salad, baked beans. I'm going to see if these ribs are any good. Ooh, they're very tender. Mm -hmm. Are they good? Delicious. Alright guys, if you want them fall, actually fall off the bone, you're going to have to pressure them, I don't know, 17 minutes, maybe 18, depending on the size of them. But this is just a good tender rib that you'll enjoy, and I hope you try this recipe. You do not have to use the, um, the, um, beef broth or the onions or chicken broth you don't have to use that but you have to use a cup and a half of water keep your ribs up off the water that's why I put my little uh, disc in here <coughs> excuse me but the flavor will be much better if you do if you get that beef or chicken broth infused in there along with the onion okay guys thank you for dropping in and seeing me today, give me a thumbs up if you like this idea. And um, if not, tell me about it, okay? And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for spending part of your day with me. Until next time, you take care. Yeah,